I've got this radon mitigation pump and it started to make a lot of noise. This is what it sounds like. Now I looked around online, I didn't see many people talking about how to replace the bearings in one of these. And so today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. Let's get into it. So one of the first things I wanna do is just flip this over and we need to separate the glue that's around the outside of this. And so to separate this, what I can do is just take a screwdriver and I'm gonna stick it in here and just kind of slowly just keep a little bit at a time, just keep working the screwdriver in here until these two halves split apart. Once you've got the glue apart, this can just pop off and exposes the impeller of the fan and we can go to the next step. Inside of here, there was a lot of silicone right around here, around this cord. And this one, it looked a lot like this. I just peeled all of that out. And now there are four screws inside of here that I need to remove. Now the impeller and this plastic part can separate. You'll notice a little bearing cap on the end of this motor. You can just pound on this with a screwdriver. This will destroy it, but you can replace it later. Next, I'm gonna use these retaining ring pliers to remove the retaining ring here. Next, this entire motor can just come right out of the retainer. You'll notice a washer. There are some bearings in here and bearings here. We're gonna pull these out. To get out this bearing, I'm just gonna take a small screwdriver. I'm just gonna poke it through here to hit the bearing and give it a slight tap. And for this side, I'm just gonna use a small punch, put it through the middle, and I'm gonna give it a small tap. You can see this bottom bearing is a little bit rusty, so I'm guessing this is the cause of our sound. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this. Looks like it's about six by 16 by Five. So I ended up finding this five pack of bearings on Amazon. I couldn't find a very good quality of bearing, but if even if I bought a brand new fan, I'm not sure that those bearings would be high quality. So looks like in 2024, this is the best I can do. So let's put these in. I'm just gonna go ahead and set one bearing in here. Hmm. And then another bearing in here. I can't quite press in this top bearing by hand, and so I found this little 11 millimeter socket. It is just about exactly the right diameter. What I'm gonna do is just sandwich this in this woodworking vise and just press that in. We can take our washer and put it back on top of our spring down inside of there. Go ahead and we can take our motor and put it back on here. Now we can take our retaining clip and put that back on. And just take a screwdriver and make sure that it's on there and seated really well. And you can test to make sure that the motor does not pull back out of the motor. You could try pounding your original seal flat, but I have a 3D printer and so I just made this nice plastic one exactly the right size so that I can just slide right in here like that. Now I can just take some silicone and just run that. We're in a small bead around the outside of this just to seal that to make sure that no moisture gets into this hole. Now we can take this motor, push it back into here and put everything back together. I've just cut the end off of a plug and wired this up so we can test this before we start siliconing everything back together to make sure everything sounds good. So let's do this quick. Down inside of here, we want to get some silicone and also in here where we loosened up this wire to make access for the motor. And now I can just go ahead and run a bead of silicone around the outside of this and glue this bottom back on. I'm going to wait about a day for the silicone to dry and then reinstall it back in the house and we're all set. Uh, really happy to keep this out of the landfill. More importantly, I'm happy to save about $200 that it would have been for a new pump. I'll put a link in the description for these pliers as long as the bearings. Uh, I'm not sure if the bearings will work in your model of pump. 
This pump just happens to be a Fantech FR100. I'm not sure how similar this is to your model, but I'm sure there are bearings inside and you should be able to figure it out. I uh, hope you found this helpful.